Good evening and welcome to the workshop. In the last video we spoke about precision parts and in this video we're going to talk about mass production. The first thing I'm doing is bluing up some of this quarter inch hex. Once that's dried up I'm using some calipers to scribe some very rough lines. We need the thread section to be approximately 7 sixteenths of an inch so that's what this is set to. This is just a cheap pair of calipers that I'm not that worried about. There we go. And we need the head to be uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So I've got this to uh, 7 sixteenths plus 3 sixteenths is 10 sixteenths, 5 eighths. So this is a 5 eighths. Now this is an expensive set of calipers, but I've realized that they're actually quite inaccurate. So I'm not that worried about uh, dulling the tips further. Having got these marked out, I'm now going to cut the cylindrical section that will be threaded. Um, I'm not too worried about surface finish, so I'm just going to go for it. And uh, when we get to the desired diameter, uh, I'll come back to you. All right, I make that 234. So I'm going to take us down by 17 thou on the dial. We are at uh, 204 and a bit, and that's probably because of the flex in the shaft, because of the depth of cut. So I'm going to take, uh, well, in, in total, we need to take 16 thou off. So I'll try taking eight and see where we are. There we go, we are at 189, uh, which I am going to say is fine for this. What I need to now do is cut a gutter here, right up against the, uh, the, the ridge of the screw, and I'm going to use a parting tool to do this. I'm going to square it up using a parallel, uh, which I'm just going to have up against the jaws of the chuck. So now this face here and therefore the bar in there are now parallel with the axis of the lathe and we need to put the gutter in and that needs to be in by um, the thread depth of the uh, 3 16 by 40 is 0.6 of a mil um, so I'm going with about 25 thou um, for the gutter. Okay, and now we're going to thread it. So I'm going to use a tailstock die holder and a fair amount of cutting oil. Now that, that gutter is way oversized for what we need, but this is the smallest parting tool I've got. So that's what you're going to get. We now need to part this off with a head of 3 16 as I said before. So I'm actually going to part this off at the same speed I've done everything else, because it seems either I'm having good luck with this parting blade or uh, something else is conspiring for success in that manner. So I've locked the carriage and I've got the lined up. There we go. Just need to do that another seven more times and we can get to the next bit. I'm now just going to face off the uh, heads of the bolts uh, with the collet. So I've actually dialed this in to make sure we're exactly uh, 3 16 of an inch away from the face of the collet. And so I'm just going to go through across and face off all of the bolts. 
Here I'm just going to chamfer the edges of the nut um, using a uh, grooving tool. I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit, make it a bit nicer to use. And that's pretty much that. So another seven of these to do. Here's the result. That's eight horn stay screws, as they're called by the designer. Uh, and they will fit here in the sides of the horn stays and they'll screw up into the bottom of the horns to hold these plates in place. But one thing making those bolts has brought to mind is I think I could really do with a lathe carriage stop or an apron stop. And uh, I think I can make one myself. I think these are quarter inch BSW or BSF holes and they are for mounting a tri-lever gearbox. But I think I'm going to repurpose them as a mounting position for a lathe stop.